hello everyone welcome to vidyan classes so in this video we are going to discuss reasoning and general intelligence section of karnataka mba pg set 2017 question paper so let us start our video the first question 192549 question mark 121 so you all are familiar with these numbers that is 1925 these are perfect squares right and you know their values also so 1 is nothing but 1 square and 9 is 3 square 25 is 5 square 49 is 7 square so this is following what this is squares of odd numbers so therefore according to this series the next one should be 9 square and 121 is 11 square which is perfect correct so therefore what will be our answer our answer will be 9 square that is 9 square is 81 so option d 81 is the right answer Ten hundred, two hundred, three hundred, ten. So now, this is see what is the difference between these numbers here. If you see the difference, the difference here is ninety. Between hundred and two hundred, difference is hundred. Between two hundred and three hundred, ten. Difference here is hundred and ten. So the dif the difference is increasing by ten. Ninety, hundred, hundred, ten. So the next difference according to this will be what one twenty. So 310 plus 120 that is going to be 430. So the answer here is 430 option A is the right answer. Find the missing character. Okay, so in your exam you have to check this. Okay, either looking horizontally or vertically which pattern will follow you have to think it out and you have to solve. Now in this case if I look horizontally okay that is in the first row a to d so from a if you count b c d that is third letter is going to be d from a starting from a then from d if you count e f g that means again the third letter from d is g so it is plus 3 and plus 3 here now check it for d i n so from d if you start counting e f g h i which means fifth letter is i so plus 5 right and from i if you start counting j k l m n that means again the fifth letter is n now if you observe the pattern so horizontally if you go it is plus 3 and plus 3 and vertically if you check so once it is plus 3 then it is plus 5 that means it is odd numbers and it is increasing right odd numbers it is correct so then according to our pattern here it should be plus 7 check it out whether it satisfies from i if you start counting j k l m n o p yes it is plus 7 so it is following our series or our pattern now from p if you start counting which is the seventh letter after p q r s t u v w so that is w is our answer find the missing number so again observe the pattern here now if you look so if you check horizontally so the numbers in the given first row is 4 5 3 2 0 now you have to think like how this 0 has come okay so let us try with some patterns now if i do multiplications and see that is 4 5s are 20 3 2s are 6 but on subtracting i don't get anything 0 here then 4 if i do alternately that is 4 3 is a 12 5 2 is a 20 no even if you check addition like 5 plus 4 is 9 and uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 no 4 plus 3 is 7 5 plus 2 is 7 so 7 minus 7 i'm getting 0 but whether the same thing follows here you check it out 7 plus 4 is 11 3 plus 4 is 7 so 11 minus 4 is 11 minus 7 is 4 you are not getting 21 there so something different you have to check now now let's see like this that is 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 is 6 but 5 plus 3 is 8 you don't get but if you multiply and check it out 4 2 is a 8 and uh, 5 plus 3 is also 8 right 8 minus 8 is 0 see 
4 into 2 is 8, 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 minus 8 is 0. Similarly, 7 into 4 is 28 and uh, 4 plus 3 is 7. 28 minus 7 is 21. Yes, it is satisfying. Similarly, 6 into 5 is 30, 4 plus 4 is 8, 30 minus 8 is 22. Correct. So, therefore, 9 into 5 is 45, 6 plus 5 is 11. So, 45 minus 11 is going to be how much? That is 34. Option A is our answer. Find the missing number. 4, 8, 20, 9, 3, 15, 6, 6, question mark. Okay. Now, so if you look like here it is 20, right? So how did this 20 has come? You have to just think it out. Okay, it's, it's an assumption whether it is horizontal or vertical. It's our logic. Okay, we have to think logically and we have to solve this thing, right? So it doesn't mean that you always have to see horizontally or vertically, no. So trial and error we have to do and uh, we will get some pattern there. Now, if you look horizontally here, 4, 8, 20. So how this 20 has come? Now, 4 plus 8 is 12 and uh, again 12 plus 8 is 20 right 4 plus 8 is 12 again 12 plus 8 is 20 9 plus 3 is 12 again 12 plus 3 is 15 correct or you can say the same thing to simplify this or to understand to make you more clear i'll call it as 8 into 2 is 16 right 8 to the 16 16 plus 4 20 3 to the 6 6 plus 9 15 correct so similarly 6 to the 12 12 plus 6 18 so our answer will be option b that is 18 find the word find the odd word out of the given four alternatives swimming sailing diving driving so swimming sailing diving all these associated with water right and driving is associated with land correct so our odd one out will be driving Find the odd number from the given alternatives 626, 841, 962, 1090. Okay. So, how will you choose the odd numbers? If you are someone who has gone without preparation, then you will think it based like very basic, you will think and you will mark and come. Like how? If you observe 626, 841, 962, 1090. So, the student who has not prepared anything, so he will think that. So there are three even numbers and there is one odd number. So that is 841 is an odd number. So he will mark 841 as the answer. Okay. It is those students who has gone without preparation. But see, sometimes even that will give you the right answer. Okay. In this question, 841 is the correct answer. But the pattern is not like this. But the pattern is not like this. That is even and odd. No, they are not such... Uh, thing that like they will give you such a kind of a question where you have to find even and odd numbers no here the actual pattern is what actual pattern is 626 626 is close to which perfect square 626 is close to the number that is 625 which is 25 square correct so 625 plus 1 is 626 and you know 625 is a perfect square that is root of 625 is 25 then then comes 841 right but uh, 841 is itself a perfect square okay 841 is itself a perfect square okay which square is 841 that is 29 square is 841 29 square is 841 right 962 see what is 962 962 is very close to 961 and root 961 is how much root 961 is 31 root 961 is 31 so therefore 962 is nothing but 961 plus 1 and 961 is a perfect square okay then comes 1090 so the closest square number here is 1089 okay which is 33 square 33 square is 1089 so this 1090 is nothing but 1089 plus 1 okay so that means basically it is 625 plus 1 and 625 is a perfect square 
962 is nothing but 961 plus 1 where root 961 is 31 it is a perfect square and 1090 is nothing but 1089 plus 1 where 1089 is a perfect square that is root 1089 is 33 so the odd one out here is 841 because 841 itself is a perfect square okay so actually it should be how 841 plus 1 it should be 842 okay so here the odd one out is 841 which one set of letters when sequentially placed at the gaps in the given letter series shall complete it so in this kind of a question what you have to do here is first count how many letters are given including the blanks so that is here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so there are 18 letters the next step what you have to do here is you have to make the group of letters now how to make the group of letters so you have to see which are the factors of 18 like 2 then uh, 18 is divisible by 2 18 is divisible by 3 18 is divisible by 6 18 is divisible by 9 right so by using this you have to make the group that is start with the lowest least that is group of 2 see whether you can observe any kind of a pattern there like if you make a group of two letters the first letter is a then it is blank next is bb then c dash a a b dash c c a dash b b c c correct now observe whether you can get any pattern in this case now see see here it is b b right here a a then it is b b c c so you can understand that in this group of two letters both the letters are same so if you go with that kind of a logic then which letter will come in this first blank first blank will be a second blank will be c then this blank will be b then this blank is a correct so now which are the letters that you have filled in the blanks in the order that is a c b a so therefore your answer will be a c b a that is option b is the right answer because now it is following the pattern a a b b c c a a b b c c right so therefore hence your uh, this logic is correct and your answer is going to be a c b a right c suppose if we had chosen three letters see sometimes what happens we don't get any pattern by choosing two letters so then we should go with the three if we don't get with that also then we have then we should go with the six like that we have to think now let's suppose if you have taken three letters a dash b then uh, b c dash then a a b then dash c c then a dash b then b c c so here you made a group of three letters correct now now what logic you can apply you think see now this is complete three letters you have so you have a a b here also you have three letters completely b c c so here you can see that there is one single letter and two common letters right two same letters and one single letter right so in that way if you think so here is the first blank but you will be confused which letter to be put here like it can be a a b also it can be a b b also now so there also like it will be one single letter and two same letters now which letter will come in this place that surety should be there for you so for that again you have to see what is the logic so in different way you can think now see just check the first letters everywhere so here the first letter is a then it is b then it is a dash a b so that means one logic you can apply here that the first letters will be a b a b a b then it will follow certain pattern correct so here in this blank i can place b here correct then see here it is dash c then a c dash c that means suppose if i put a here a c a c a c so this will make some sense correct so here this blank will be filled by a a c a c a c here also it will be filled by a correct now last letters if you see it is b dash b c b c that means this letter here will be c so then it will follow b c b c b c correct so therefore now this will make sense right now which are the letters that you have filled a first then this c then this b then a okay according to this question 
the letters that you have filled here is A, C, B, A. So here also you will get the answer that is option B, right? So sometimes you won't get with this two or three groups and all. Then you have to choose bigger numbers. Okay, here you got the answer in both the possible ways. Even with the six also you will get. Okay, next one. A is son of C while C and Q are the sisters to one another. Z is the mother of Q. If P is the son of Z, which one of the following statement is correct? Okay, now let us go with the statement given. A is the son of C. A is the son of C. So I'll denote like this. Triangle is because triangle denotes male person. Circle denotes female person. Now A is the son. Son means he is a male person. So he is the son of C. Okay, C is the parent of A. Now you don't know what is the gender of C. Okay, now C and Q are the sisters. So now you got C's gender is female. So C is the mother of A. You understood. C and Q are the sisters. So both are sisters means both are female. Z is the mother of Q. So if Z is the mother of Q, then Z is the mother of C also. Correct? Z is the mother of Q means Z is the mother of C also because C and Q are sisters. If P is the son of Z, see P is the son of Z means Z already has two daughters and P is the son. That means P, C, Q are siblings. P, C, Q are siblings. P is the brother of C as well as P is the brother of Q. Now which one of the statement is correct? Q is the grandson of A. Q is the grandson of A. No. Q is not the grandson of A. It is false. P is the maternal uncle of A. Maternal uncle means what? Maternal uncle means mother's brother is called as maternal uncle. Okay. Mother's brother is called as maternal uncle. Whether P is the maternal uncle of A? Yes. A's mother is C. C's brother is P. So that means P is the maternal uncle of A. It is true. P is the cousin of A? No, P is not the cousin of A. You understood P is the maternal uncle of A. Z is the brother of C? No, Z is the mother of C. So finally, your option B is the right answer. A man said to lady, the son of your only brother is the brother of my wife. See the man, okay, he said to the lady, okay. The man said to the lady that the son of your only brother so she is the lady son of your only brother means her brother okay her brother her brother what what they are saying what the man is saying a man said to lady the son of your only brother her brother's son now her brother's son son of your only brother and this brother is the brother of my wife so this one he is he this person is brother brother of whom brother of man's wife okay he is the brother of man's wife so what i will do here is i'll write man below so that it won't confuse you okay this person is a man his wife is this lady and this lady has a brother and this brother's father is this person and this person's sister is lady okay now once again i'll explain this the son of your a man said to lady so this lady he said the son of your only brother okay his br her brother's son the son of your only brother this brother is the brother of my wife this person is the brother of man's wife so now what is the lady to the man? What is the lady to the man? See, this lady becomes what? This man's wife's father's sister. Correct? See, because this lady and this person, they are siblings. Okay? And their father is this person. Okay? So, this lady becomes what? The man's wife's father's sister. Right? See, this man's wife's father is what father-in-law correct wife's father will become father-in-law wife's father's sister is what sister of father-in-law sister of father-in-law so the answer is option c sister of father-in-law a man walks one kilometer to east so let us say this is he is moving to the east direction one kilometer and then he turns to south and walks five kilometer he turns south and walks 5 km. Again, he turns east and walks 2 km. 
right after this he turns to north and walks 9 km 9 km means so this is a, here it is 5 up to this okay then again plus 4 total 9 km so this is 5 up to here and this is 4 5 plus 4 total 9 km now how far is he from the starting point so this is starting point this is end point so how far is he from the starting point this distance you have to find okay to find this distance you can use this triangle okay so by using this triangle this base base length will become how much this is one and this is two so total it is three meter and this height is how much four meter so you want this hypotenuse value right so this three four this is a pythagorean triplet so if it is three four the hypotenuse will be five yes so by using pythagoras theorem you can get this value if you don't know if it is a pythagorean triplet then you can find you can get this value how by by how 4 square is 16 3 square is 9 root of 16 plus 9 that is root 25 which is 5 pythagoras theorem okay so by that you can get the value the answer is 5 kilometer now if southeast becomes north and south becomes northeast and all other directions are changed in the same manner then what will be the direction for west see first put the general diagram okay first put the general di direction so you know well that this is east this is west this is north this is south and uh, this is going to be northeast this is going to be southwest then here this is southeast and this is northwest correct now now what they told if southeast becomes north if southeast if this becomes north and south becomes northeast south becomes northeast and all other directions are changed in the same manner then what will be the direction for west see if this is north and if this is northeast northeast lies between north and east right so this will be east correct north east this is northeast so if this is north opposite direction is south if this is east opposite direction is west so if this is south and east the middle one will be southeast if it is south and west the middle one will be southwest if it is north and west then this will be northwest now what will be the direction for west what will be the direction for west so west will become what west will become southeast next insect cause disease war causes destruction instruct insect causes disease and war causes destruction so interest is charged by the money lender okay and salary is given to whom salary is given to salary is taken by employees okay salary is paid to employees in a family there are several brothers and sisters every two boys have brothers as many as sisters and each girl has two brothers less than twice as many brothers as sisters so in this first line says that every two boys have brothers as many as sisters means every two boys let b be boys and yes for girls girls okay so every two boys two boys will have how many brothers they will have b minus two brothers okay every two boys because two boys you have taken so from total boys you have to subtract two that will be remaining brothers okay every two boys have brothers that is b minus two brothers as many as sisters so this b minus two value is equals to s they are saying every two boys how many brothers they have b minus two brothers okay every two boys have brothers as many as sisters so this number of brothers is equals to number of sisters so from this you can come to know that b minus 2 value is equals to s okay so if you simplify or if you rearrange it b minus s is equals to 2 this will become equation 1 now each girl has two brothers less than twice as many brothers as sisters each girl let let girl be s 
each girl will have how many sisters now s minus one sisters okay she will be having s minus one sisters now each girl has two brothers less than twice as many brothers as sisters twice the number of sisters will become how much twice the number of sisters means two times of s minus one now each girl has two brothers less than twice as many brothers as sisters so that means this is equals to the number of brothers each girl has two brothers less than twice as many brothers as sisters okay so therefore this will become another equation two times of s minus one minus two is equals to b okay so if you simplify this it will become two s minus two minus two equals to b 2s minus 4 equals to b so therefore b minus 2s is equals to minus 4 is equation 2 on rearranging this okay b minus 2s is equals to minus 4 so further simplify reverse the sign minus plus plus so b and b get cancelled plus 2s minus s will become yes plus 4 plus 2 will become 6 so yes value will become 6 that is number of girls is are 6 if s value is 6 you know that b minus 2 is equals to yes that is 6 b value will be 6 plus 2 that is 8 so number of boys are 8 number of girls are 6 so number of boys and girls they asked the answer is 8 and 6 b is twice as old as a but twice younger than f c is half the age of a but is twice older than d who is second oldest b is twice old as a but twice younger than f correct twice younger than f c is half the age of a but is twice older than d okay so who is the second oldest now let's suppose c b is twice as old as a means what if a is one unit b will be two unit okay a is to b ratio will be one is to two b is twice as old as a but twice younger than f twice younger than f means what f is twice old than b twice younger than f means what f is twice old than b so b is to f ratio will be what if b is two unit f will be four unit b is twice younger than f okay two times younger so four divided by two is two right so f will be four unit c is half the age of a c is half the age of a that means one by two okay but is twice older than d c is half the age of a but is twice older than d twice older than d means d will be again half of c d will be half of c so that is half of one by two will be again one by four okay so now if you want to cancel this fraction what is the lcm of 4 and 2 lcm of 4 and 2 is 4 right it is 4 so what you do multiply all the ratios by 4 multiply all the ratios by 4 you will get the simplified ratio multiply all the ratios by 4 you will get the simplified ratio the simplified ratio will be the 4 and 4 will get cancelled d unit will be 1 2 1 zero, 2 2 zero. so c unit is 2 a unit will become 4 b unit will become 8 f unit will become 16 now again understand it is very clear that b is twice as old as a correct b is two times of a but twice younger than f yes half of f c is half the age of a c is half the age of a yes but twice older than d yes he is two times older than d now who is the second oldest first oldest is f second oldest is b so b is the answer in a certain code fire is coded as dgpc what will be the last letter of the coded word short fire is coded as dgpc fire is coded as what dgpc now if you see from d to f if you want to come e f that means plus 2 you have to do g to i again plus 2 h i p to r again plus 2 q r c to e d e again plus 2 correct so what will be the coded word for short short okay 
you have to find the coded word for short that is the last letter so which letter if you do plus two for that you will get t which is a letter for which if you add two letters then means if you go two step ahead you will get t so that will be r for r if you do plus two that is yes and t you will get t so the answer here is r okay option b r is the right answer if mind becomes kglp argue becomes ypesc then what will diagram be in that code so this is very easy question so here you have to pick c d i a g r a m it is already there in the given two words mind and argue if you see here you have d i a g r a m so you have all the letters in mind and argue right so now what is the code for d here code for d here is p code for i that is second letter g code for a here the first letter the code here is y correct then P G Y G. So code for G is what? Code for G is here E. Then uh, code for R. Code for R. Code for R is P. Okay, so it should be there should be a correction here. So here it should be actually B. Okay, it's not P. It should be actually B here. If it is B, then the first letter will be B. Okay, so there's some typing mistake. For code of R will be P. Code of R is P. Then code of A, first letter Y. And code of M, first letter here is K. So B, G, Y, E, P, Y, K. That is option A is the right answer. Okay. Next one. While going on a scooter, you find someone has been hurt by your vehicle. What will you do in this situation? Okay, so what you will do in this situation when someone is hurt by your scooter? Okay. Try to run away from the spot immediately. Okay, you will do, but this is not the right way, right? Some might do, but this is not the right way. So you have to choose the right one here. Okay, what will you do in that situation? You won't run away, right? So therefore, this is wrong. Stop your vehicle and say, I'm sorry. Okay, fine. If it is a minor one, then this is okay. But something here, they mentioned that it is, he has been hurt now. It, if you are just touched him, okay, fine. You could have said, sorry right but the person is hurt now so sorry is not enough so this is wrong take him to doctor and arrange for medical aid yes this one you can do and this one you should do right so you can you should take him to the doctor and arrange for the medical aid because he is now hurt by you right so that thing is correct pay compensation for the injury and solve the problem there itself no this is not the right way so you should treat him because you made him hurt so it is best thing is take him to the doctor and arrange for the medical aid so that will help the person okay so c is the answer which one of the following is always associated with justice so justice this word is related to legal things so for legal things it is closely related to legitimate so option c is the answer okay which is the best statement to achieve success in life a person should be well educated is it enough that if a person is well educated he'll be successful in life whether all the educated persons are successful no no right even those uneducated people are also successful in life okay in their own way they have been successful correct so it doesn't it is not required that you should be well educated but yes education is required you cannot neglect that right but it is not necessary that you should be a degree holder or you should be a like master level no but a uh, little bit of education is required for all of them okay yes so but this is not 100 percent true that a person should be well educated no this is not 100 percent true the person should be rich and prosperous no this is absolutely false the person should be honest sincere and hard working yes this is most important whoever the person is whether he is a well educated or he is a moderate or he is a normal one okay but if he is honest sincere and hard working then surely he will get 
he will become successful in life he or she will become successful in life because this consistency is important being honest being sincere and being hard working is most important in any field okay in any field this is most important and this thing if we include in our life then surely we will be successful okay option d the person should be dreamy oh dream is required you should dream but you should not be dreaming okay you should not be dreaming yes you should dream but not dreaming right statement any young man who makes dowry as a condition for marriage discredits himself and dishonors womanhood so this by using this statement you have to check which of the conclusions given here are true which follows and which does not follow you have to check it out statement is what any young man who makes dowry as a condition for marriage discredits himself and dishonors womanhood so here they are speaking about dowry and this is they are telling that taking dowry is not a good practice okay about that they are mentioning here right so here they are telling directly that any young man who makes dowry as a condition for marriage discredits himself as well as he dishonors womanhood the first conclusion is those who take dowry in marriage should be condemned by the society yes they should be condemned by the society yes this is true why because the statement says that taking dowry dishonors womanhood and if it is dishonoring womanhood then it should be condemned by the society okay this should be condemned by the society obviously the first conclusion follows second conclusion those who do not take dowry in marriage respect womanhood yes so person who take dowry if he is dishonoring the womanhood and it is very clear that those persons who does not take dowry in marriage they respect womanhood okay so it, it clearly mentions that the other one is true so therefore conclusion 2 also follows since 1 and 2 follows answer will be both 1 and 2 follows both 1 and 2 follows okay don't go to think too much logically that okay if somebody taking really they are respecting don't go too much logical okay so understand according to the statement if it is it is very clearly said that the person who takes dowry is dishonoring womanhood that means it is very clear that the person who does not take dowry is respecting womanhood okay so this is clear next if you are a good artist then we have definitely a job for you okay there's a statement said that if you are a good artist then we have definitely a job for you now what is the conclusion you are a good artist no this is a questionable this is questioning okay like now i'm questioning you i'm telling you so if you are a good artist then we have definitely a job for you that means it is whether it is clear that you are a good artist no we are i'm telling you if you are a good artist so it is not true that you are a good artist is false okay so it is conditional if you are only then okay so it is not anywhere mentioned clearly that you are a good artist then we are in need of a good artist yes see because we require a good artist that is why i'm asking a condition that if you are a good artist then we have when then we have definitely a job for you that means we need a good artist so therefore this is true option 2 follows only 2 follows okay next one the proportion of male students and the proportion of vegetarians in a school are given below the school has total 800 students 80% of whom are in the secondary age section and the remaining are equally divided between class 11 and class 12 so what is the percentage of vegetarians in class 12 the first question now first decode this whole chart okay total students the school has total 800 students out of 800 80% of whom are in the secondary section what is 80% of 800 80% means you already know it is 4 by 5 so 4 by 5 of 800 okay so this is going to be how much by see 80% like either you can directly multiply it by 80 into 8 so that is also very easy 640 you will get okay so you have to choose which one will will become first 
see 80 percent 80 by 100 of 800 that means basically what you have to do you have to multiply 80 into 8 8 is 64 so this will be very easy right so you have to choose which one will be easy in that way you have to get the answer so one thing is clear that 640 students are there in the secondary section okay total students in the secondary section are how much 640 in this male you don't know but vegetarians are 0 0.55 0 0.55 means 55 percent students are vegetarians the meaning is 55 percent of 640 what is going to be 55 percent of 640 let us find that also 55 percent of 640 that is 55 by 100 of 640 so 511 are by 20 times 2 0 get cancels 32 32 into 11 is nothing but 352 so 352 students are vegetarians 352 students are vegetarians okay 352 students are vegetarian so it doesn't mean that remaining are male here 640 minus 352 remaining will be means no not like that 352 are vegetarians only that part you know out of 640 remaining are non-vegetarians like that okay now in this 640 you don't know what is the number of males leave next okay so then what they told 80 percent who are in the secondary section and the remaining are equally divided between class 11 and class 12 remaining is how much out of 800 if you subtract 640 you will get 160 those 160 students are distributed equally between class 11 and class 12 that means class 11 will have 80 students class 12 will have 80 students 80 80 160 correct so total this will become 800 now correct total is 800 now see out of this 80 students in class 12 60 percent are male 60 percent are male means how much 48 six eights are 48 so 48 students are male out of this 80 55 percent are male 55 percent 50 percent is 40 5 percent is 4 that is 44 students are male 44 students are male okay and then 50 students are vegetarians that means 40 students are vegetarians clear now again out of total 800 47.5% students are male 47.5% of 800 will be how much 47.5 into 8 that is 8 5 is a 40 7 8 is a 56 plus 4 60 8 4 is a 32 plus 6 38 decimal so 380 male are there okay there are 380 males and 53 percent are vegetarians out of total students 53 percent are vegetarians 53 percent of 800 that is 53 into 8 53 into 8 8 3 is a 24 8 5 is a 40 4 24 so 4 24 students are vegetarians okay so now you can fill the gaps that is in males okay there are total 380 males out of 380 males 48 males are in class 12 44 males are in class 11 so how much it became in total 92 so 92 males from class 11 and class 12 but total males are 380 therefore number of males in secondary section will be how much 380 minus 92 380 minus 92 so that is going to be how much 282 288 380 minus 92 if you do you will get 288 so there are 288 males okay now vegetarians if you see see total vegetarians are 424 out of this 352 are in secondary section 40 are in class 11 that means 392 352 plus 40 392 so from 424 if you subtract 392 you will get number of vegetarians in class 12 so 4 minus 2 is 2 12 minus 9 is 3 so 32 32 vegetarians are in class 12 so this is how you can decode this whole thing okay now what is the question what is the percentage of vegetarians in class 12 percentage of vegetarians in class 12 class 12 has 32 vegetarians out of total students of class 12 80 so what is the percentage of vegetarians so 32 by 80 into 100 so that is 24 is 80 25 is 100 4 1 is 
फोर एट सा थर्टी टू एट फाइव सा फोर्टी ऑप्शन ए फोर्टी परसेंट इज द आंसर परसेंटेज ऑफ वेजिटेरियंस इन क्लास ट्वेल्व इज फोर्टी परसेंट सेकेंड वन वॉट इज द परसेंटेज ऑफ मेल स्टूडेंट्स इन सेकेंडरी सेक्शन मेल स्टूडेंट्स इन सेकेंडरी सेक्शन इज हाउ मच टू एटी एट परसेंटेज ऑफ मेल स्टूडेंट्स इन सेकेंडरी सेक्शन टू एटी एट टोटल स्टूडेंट्स इन सेकेंडरी इज सिक्स फोर्टी सो दैट इज गोइंग टू बी टू एटी एट बाई सिक्स फोर्टी इन टू हंड्रेड ओके जीरो जीरो गेट कैंसल्स करेक्ट सो देन इफ यू डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी फोर वेदर इट इज डिविजिबल जस्ट टेक इट आउट डायरेक्टली सिक्सटी फोर नो लेट इज गो विद सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन फोर जो सिक्सटी फोर एंड सिक्सटीन वन टाइम्स इज सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन वन जो सिक्सटीन देन रिमाइंडर इज ट्वेल्व वन ट्वेंटी एट देन वन ट्वेंटी एट मीन्स सिक्सटीन एट जो वन ट्वेंटी एट सो एटीन टाइम्स देन टू टू जो फोर टू नाइन जो एटीन टू वन जो टू फाइव जो टेन सो नाइन इंटू फाइव नाइन फाइव जो फोर्टी फाइव ओके सो दैट इज फोर्टी फाइव परसेंटेज so thank you so much this is all for today see you all in the next session till then stay focused and keep learning take care bye bye jai hind